All right, good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, we got some clouds today, but uh, it's uh, just a little afternoon here on Tuesday, and uh, it's 100 plus degrees again. Uh, just really unbearable. Uh, it's uh, pretty amazing here. And no rain in sight. And I'm kind of heading down towards the garden here. But uh, everything's going to look like it did yesterday. Uh, well, and we got a mango. It's almost ready, but it looks like it's been infected. But you can see what the... These are beans. And what they do, the leaves kind of curl up. And that... Uh, In a little bit but uh, they're in the Sun so much of the day I, I'm amazed that they even survive whoop that uh, that's broke so that'll be gone it's uh, I'm sweating just walking around I'm not even doing any work here and I'm sweating and uh, of course here the winds been blowing a little bit again and uh, I try to keep these, oh, one of the dogs dug, dug through this and got the roots here, you can see. So I got a, on camera here, uh, part of the roots are exposed and they'll do that. Uh, kind of keep her. But as you look down the line here, yeah, the cucumbers here don't seem to be affected as much as the others. But uh, some of the bottom leaves are, are getting eaten, and it looks like ants, and of course little bugs that are eating it. On the other side, <laughs> you see a, a couple of hens there. Uh, decided they're going to lay down and of course they uh, tore up another one of my uh, plants there yeah it's uh, uh, if you're not fighting one thing you're fighting another and it's too bad uh, wow uh, cucumbers aren't looking too bad. Of course, just you can just tell by how they're drooping that uh, they, I'm surprised anything can survive in this. And of course, the other side, one by one, my recently planted cucumbers, and you can see what the sun does to them. And I mean, it is hot. I, I am sweating. You know, if you could look at my arms, just uh, sweating all over, and all I'm doing is just walking. But some more of my plants destroyed here. So it looks like uh, I'm going to be replanting quite a bit here. Yeah, just hoping a little bit too much, so that, uh, oh yeah, that, uh, the rain in June and July was going to continue and the cooler days, but uh, yeah, no such luck. Uh, it used to be a six month rainy season and a six month dry season here, and now it seems to be uh, eight and four, nine and three. And uh, Beth has got a bag of uh, mangoes here. Our neighbor is buying 40 kilos, so she was out this morning picking and uh, since that time, she's gone into Taliban in order to uh, just do some shopping in there and some busy work that needs to be done. Oh, oh a little bit of a breeze. So nice. Oh, man. Yeah, this is... Uh, 
in the States we kind of expect August to be like this and of course we are north of the equator here so but not quite in the seasonal zones like I said the, the two seasons here are dry and wet <laughs> and uh, always hot uh, the corn and everything else still seems to be looking good. I'll be watering again today. And uh, like I said, it's uh, I'm doing it every day now. I have to. Uh, if I want these to survive the heat. So, I'm going to kind of head back up towards the house here. But yeah, another day. Another day of this uh, scorching heat here. And uh, from my weather report, uh, they're talking about a little cloudiness on Thursday and a chance of rain, but uh, well, that's it for the next seven to 10 days. And uh, we'll probably be lucky to get that if we do. So I'll keep everybody updated. Uh, living here. <laughs> in the Philippines and especially in Bahal here in the northern part of Bahal uh, we've had to deal with uh, the big changes in the weather and in the weather patterns here and this is just another one of those changes that uh, seems to be beating us over the head again when we think we just uh, kind of finally made it it uh, hasn't quite worked out that way so I'm going to let everybody go here from the back of the camera. Everybody have a good day. In spite of all the hardships here, in spite of the heat and everything else, uh, Beth and I really have no complaints. We've been uh, really blessed in our property here and uh, our prosperity and living here. And we live uh, week to week and month to month. But it's done us good up till now. So uh, we continuously thank the Lord for all the blessings. And in return, I sincerely hope he blesses you also.